Hello everyone, I'm Hunter, and this is Unexpected History. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Allow me to introduce you to James Springer and James Lewis. Their story is one of the weirder ones I've ever covered. You see, they're somewhat better known as the Jim Twins. In 1940, a set of identical twins was born. Three weeks later, they were separated and given up for adoption. Two different families, from two different cities, adopted the boys. Their adopted families named their new sons James, which is already an astonishing coincidence, seeing as neither of their new families knew the other, nor did they know of the other. But wait, there's more. As they grew up, the two boys had eerily similar childhoods. They both had beloved dogs named Toy. In school, they both excelled in math and carpentry, but neither liked spelling at all. But if you thought that was the end of the coincidences, you're not even close. As spookily similar as their childhoods were, the similarities of their adult lives were downright scary. As adults, both gyms were susceptible to getting tension headaches. Both drove light blue Chevrolets, and they both chain-smoked the same brand of cigarettes. Both gyms married women named Linda, although they both sadly wound up divorcing their Lindas. But in another absolutely astonishing coincidence, they both then met and married women named Betty. Both families had sons, naming them, and I kid you not, James Allen. Remember, these men had no inkling of the other's existence at the time, even though they lived in towns separated by a mere 40 miles or so. The uncanny coincidences didn't stop with the naming of their sons, however. They both had similar jobs. One was a sheriff's deputy, the other was a security guard. Incredibly, they and their families even vacationed at the same Florida beach. Their adoptive mothers each respectively knew their son was an identical twin, but Mrs. Springer thought the other child had passed away. Mrs. Lewis, on the other hand, suspected otherwise. Early on, when Mrs. Lewis went to the courthouse to get the adoption finalized, she overheard a strange comment from one of the staff to another. Wait, wasn't the other baby named James too? After his mother passed along this little tidbit of information, Jim Lewis began a search for his brother, eventually finding Jim Springer through their adoption records. Springer came home one day to a message asking him to call Lewis, who, upon answering the call, blurted out, Are you my brother? They met four days after that phone call, at the age of 39. This world has seen many coincidences, but the sheer number of those shared by the Jim twins, who didn't know, or know of, the other's existence for nearly four decades, is just staggering. Twins, and the connections they sometimes share, have fascinated humanity since time immemorial. And with stories like the Jim twins, even if it is somewhat atypical, I can certainly understand that fascination. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow Unexpected History for more just like this. Until the next time, I hope your day is pleasantly unexpected.